Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm talking about my top three retro looking indie games that I have played in 2020. I thought we're almost at the end of this freaking crazy, insane, whatever you want to call it, year, whatever descriptor you want to, want to use for this year, it is the appropriate descriptor. Let's all be freaking honest about it. No matter who you are, you, you got a strong opinion about this year. So I thought, you know what, I'm a retro freaking games uh, channel. Let me go ahead and just make a list of this stuff. Just list off my top three that I've played that's retro looking. So let's start with Koromon, which is a monster taming game that is definitely heavily inspired by Game Boy Advanced graphics. It has uh, multiple options when it comes to difficulty. Like I'm pl I've played it on Intense. I actually have a playthrough of that going through and I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, the starters are amazing, especially the fire uh, starter, which is like a freaking fire turtle, or tortoise rather, tortoise, totally different than a turtle, Taruga, and it has a little, instead of like a char, char, like Charmander's tor, tor, it's freaking amazing, there's, even the monsters move, they're not, uh, stationary, idle, even in battle, they're like moving, and it's very nice, extremely nice animation, extremely nice pixel art, a nice OST, it's all around just enjoyable, extremely enjoyable, and now you only have the demo out right now, and you can only get to level 25, but they're going to have more out, and I cannot wait for the full release, to be quite honest. Now, the next one's Monster Crown. Now, Monster Crown has been in development for quite a few years, I think three or two or something, but it absolutely looks retro. It's another monster taming game. I've been playing a lot of them, and recently they've only put out, they put out the content pack update number three and here soon on I think the 27th they're going to be putting out number four and while it's been kind of slow it's for reasons that it's actually been addressed in an interview before uh, on Jim Litter Ed's uh, channel if you want to go there look at their second Monster Crown interview he kind of explains it but it's freaking awesome you have so much to do if you want to go battle you can go battle you know if you just want to go look around you want to capture monsters that's cool too if you want to breed that's one great thing about breeding is that you also have cross breeds uh it, it's it, one type there's no dual topping which actually works in its favor but you have different types and the forms of these monsters will change depending on the top and then you have the cross breeds it, it's amazing i love it you can make pretty much any monster you want, like pick whatever monster you want that's your favorite, you can make that into a really good monster. It's insane. You can even change the color palettes. It, it, it's, um, it, it, with the breeding, if you go, I've made a video about this actually, if you go to what's called a gene lab, you can pick which stats you want to have for this, you know, you have two parents, which one do you want the baby to carry over? Do you want its attack, you know, a, like the primary parent's uh, attack to be carried over? Or do you want the secondary parent's attack to be carried over? Or do you want the base form to be the secondary parent's base form? It's There's tons of options. It's insane. It's good. And they're starting to pump out a lot of content. I highly recommend going and getting Monster Crown. Now, the uh, third, like, I guess, number three on my list is disc creatures which i've not gotten to play through all the way but i've played through it quite a bit and oh my god it is the most if i had to rank these games on retro looks as in purely just in aesthetics which one's the most retro looking one disc creatures would win with no contest it's absolutely a freaking like game boy or game boy color esque uh game in style 100%. If this thing would have came out when I was, my God, four or five, I would have bought it. And I, I you know, I'd be remembering it as, you know, when I think about it, I'll ha I would have nostalgia because it's a great monster taming game that absolutely would fit in if it came out, my God, 20 years ago. It is very much retro looking. I highly recommend it for people that are looking for a retro game and also love Pokemon. It's a, like I said, it's a monster taming retro game and yeah, it's a disc. You don't necessarily catch any monsters per se, these disc creatures. You beat them and you have a possibility of getting a disc, which then you can upload to your PC and get that monster. And there's a lot of story to it as well. In fact, they're about to they're, I know they're making a sequel to it that looks like it's came, it came should have been put out on the Game Boy Advance, and I'm really looking forward to that. 
Now, the two that I'm looking forward to, so that's my top three, which is Coromon, Monster Crown, and Disc Creatures. I recommend you to go check them out. If you're not sure, go check out my videos on them. Now, the ones I'm looking forward to, that's a retro-looking indie games, are the ones I've looked forward to this year, is Chain Monsters, which I have played the demo for, and I've actually backed their Kickstarter. It's an amazing, like, Game Boy Advanced uh, monster taming game just go check it out and it's chain because it's using the block chain so you can't spoof monsters uh, things like that you know chain monsters uh, it's also going to be multiplayer but you have content for single player as well it's gonna be a story everything else it's amazing they blew their Kickstarter campaign goal out of the freaking water uh, I think a few days ago they passed 1000% funded and they're only going to go up because they're in their last 48 hours of their Kickstarter campaign. I'm really looking forward to it because so far I've liked the OST for it and I have liked the uh, art for it, the pixel art. It's very well done. Uh, the demo right now, which you can go and play, the demo right now is a sandbox demo. A very early, they just wanted it out there, and I'm glad they had it out there. It was a great choice to have it out there, because that's what I think got a lot of people to back it. Even though you've got problems with it, it doesn't matter. You can tell. It's like a proof of concept. You can tell there's something fantastic there. Now, moving on to my second and last one that I'm looking forward to. Not that it's, you know, worse than Chain Monsters necessarily or anything like that. You know, it's just an unordered list kind of thing. Necromancer's Gift. The artwork has been fantastic so far. The animations have been fantastic. I like the premise of it, which is uh, just go check out go check out their Discord um, and, and find out because it's a fantastic Discord as well. But anyways, uh, on their Discord, they also had a competition um, to name monsters. Like they'd be like, okay, here's like two. I think it was on Tuesdays and Thursdays they would put out monsters that here's like an evolutionary line. You know, submit your monster names, and then they would make a poll, and then they pick the names from that. So they're very community-oriented. They interact with the community a lot. It 100% is retro-looking. They even have a start screen for the game now. They have, like, a... They've shown some, like, battle footage. You know, it's still in development, though, but it's looking great. So that's my top three which has been Coromon, Monster Crown, Disc Creatures, and my two that I've been looking, that I am looking forward to, which is Chain Monsters and Necromancer's Gift. Now, next year I'll be making one, maybe around this, you know, another list, maybe, uh, maybe th halfway through the year, maybe it's like here's my first half, and then I'm gonna make one in the second half. I don't know, but I hope you all go check out these games because they're fantastic games. That uh, you should go check them out. If you love retro games, go check them out. If you love Pokemon or Digimon and other monster taming games, you know, Monster Rancher, things like that, then go check it out. And if you love both of them, well, you have two reasons to go check it out. Like, these are great games. Uh, it's especially for people that's kind of become disillusioned with Pokemon in particular. Go check out these games. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'm going to be making more videos really soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Retro on.